All right, here we go. We're going to be pulling some data today. If I want um, regular company data, you, Yahoo Finance, Google Finance is all, you know, good for a basic income or balance sheet, you know, statement. Uh, no big deal. If I want a little bit more detail, I tend to go get the actual uh, 10Ks from the annual report. Uh, and those are pretty easy to grab now. So generally, we can just go to uh, Google here, type in Edgar Online, and we will get the SEC uh, repository. So I usually use this one right here. Uh, you can see it's already purple for me. Uh, and it has all the filings for any public company. So uh, it's pretty easy to grab anything we need. Uh, and here in a second, I'll show you they've even made it easier than that in a lot of ways now. Um, but if I know what company I want, so for this spring, I'm going to be looking at Yum for my class. So Yum Brands, who own KFC and Taco Bell and um, uh, stuff like that. And so I want all of their annual reports. So it brings up Yum Brands right here. You can see that. And then I can just type in 10K, and I can get any annual reports that they have filed. And you'll see this goes back quite a ways. So... Uh, the nice thing is here, you'll see about, uh, what is that, five, six years ago, something like that, they started adding these interactive data pieces, uh, and this will download all of, uh, not the entire annual report, but all of the data pieces of the annual report directly into Excel for us. So uh, that's really nice. Now, if I want five years of income statements and balance sheets, so I'm going to start with 2015, which is their last filing. Click the interactive data here. It's going to download it. Um, if I just hit view Excel document, it'll download all of it into an Excel document. And you'll see that this actually gives me uh, three years of income statements and two years of balance sheets typically for the company, which means to get five years, I'm going to have to pull 2015. I can skip for the income statement. Oh, I don't know why my computer does this. Sorry. Uh, I can skip. Um, uh, the income statements for 14 and 13 filings and go straight to 12 and pull the, the last two, or, or 12 and 11. Uh, but for balance sheets, I'll need probably the 2015. I can skip 14. The 2013 will give me 13 and 12, and then I'll have to go grab 11 separately. So I actually have to pull three 10Ks to get it typically. Now, when you download this, you're getting a lot more than just balance sheets and income statements and cash flows. So uh, you'll see there's a lot of tabs down here at the bottom. Um, we can kind of flip through here. Uh, I just want the basic income statements and balance sheets, and then I'm going to wire them in a video uh, in the next video. Uh, and by that, I mean just make it so they all uh, calculate appropriately so we can do pro formas and stuff like that. Um, so here's consolidated uh, statements of income for the last three years, so I want that. Uh, so actually, I'm going to hit Control-N real quick and create a new workbook. And I'm just going to move... Uh, the ones I want from here into that new workbook. So I want the income statement, move or copy, uh, create a copy, and move it into book one. Okay, so now in book one I have income statement, and I can get rid of the blank sheet one. I don't need that. Uh, I also want, uh, let's see, what is this? Consolidated statement. Nope, comprehensive income. Don't need that. Cash flows, I like that. Let's do cash flows. Move or copy. So again, we get three years. So now that is over here. And balance sheet. Like I said, balance sheet typically they only give you two years. Um, and so I can move or copy the balance sheet over. Create a copy, move it over to book one. All right. So. You know, and you put them in any order you want. I usually just reword these so they're not so long. Cash flow, income statement. Okay, and we can change the order however we want. You know, if you want income statement first, whatever. So now all I got to do is go pull. Um, just a second, I'm going to clean this up just a little bit. I don't need the blanks here. Okay, so now I have that. I'm going to go pull the other income, set of income statements I want um, from, like I said, we have 14, 13, and 12 from the 15, 14, and 13 uh, 10Ks. So I need the 
10K from 2012 to get the other pieces I want for that income statement. So I'm going to go grab that. So I'm going to close this down. Uh, go back into my Google. Like I said, now I want, here's 2013 will be, uh, actually this will give me the last, actually 13 will give me uh, 12 and 11 from the income statement and I need 13 uh, balance sheets. So I'll just pull the 13. Same as the last one, you Excel documents. It'll download it and open it in Excel and I can just copy and paste out of it into um, the current document I have open. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Assume the SEC isn't gonna give me a virus here. taking its time. Look at that load. And I guess I can go here while it's doing that and go get, uh, so I had 15, 13, I want 11 as well. So I'll have 11 ready to go to get that last balance sheet here. Now since I already have um, in this sheet the income statement, the balance sheet and cash flow set up, uh, what I'll do is I'll just copy and paste the year, other years I want here uh, next to the ones I already have. And sometimes things don't line up perfectly, so sometimes we'll have to go clean them up a little bit because uh, the way they report things might change slightly year to year. Um, but uh, hopefully we'll get lucky here and they'll just work out nice for us. Boy, Excel is taking its time. Sorry about this. I'm not entirely sure what happened to it. All right, there it goes. All right, income statements. He said we want uh, 11 and 10. So here's 11, here's 10. Of this do I want is the question. Probably just that. And I'm just going to put them one spot over here. So control V, um, control A, unwrap text. There we go. And then we'll kind of make it prettier later. Right now it's going to be a little bit ugly, and that's okay. Uh, and I won't. I'll match all these up, make sure they all match up, and then I'll delete this out. I won't need that at the end. Uh, same thing, balance sheets. So I want balance sheets. Here's 12. Balance sheets. probably grab all of this just to make sure all the accounts line up. So let me undo that. I will grab all of these and move them over. Okay, so I'll make sure those all line out. Oh, it didn't bring, here's 2000. 2011. I don't know why I didn't bring that over. And cash flows. And again, we just need uh, 11 and 10 and this column A. You don't want to merge this. All. Okay, so I'll delete this out and we'll take the whole thing and then again line it up and clean it up. Cash flows. Okay. And that's pretty much the idea. So again, what I would do next is I would just pull, I'll just pull this um, balance sheet uh, for 2010, which is the only one I don't have yet. I'll copy it over uh, to, and then I'll clean everything up. 
Um, you know, and by clean everything up, like I said, we can go down and make sure all of these uh, in F line up with A, and if they do, then I can just bring the numbers over. Uh, you can also do pretty simple checks, right? So I can do if this equals this. Oh, I gotta tell it what to tell me, right? Comma one, comma zero, or comma, we'll do that and drag it down and if there aren't any, all ones then we know something's wrong yeah, brands ink non controlling etc so I'm just gonna line all these up it looks like these are all good other operating income instead of other income expense so they change the language a little bit so it's not a one but it's close enough right we don't you know other income versus other operating income so uh, so that means I can just get rid of E and F, and then I'll um, go through these numbers and make sure they all make sense and all those fun things. But there's all my income statements, just not quite as pretty as I'd want them yet. Um, you know, we'll shrink these down and do all those fun things. Um, but it looks like they're pretty good. Same thing with balance sheet. I can go and check that all of these uh, line up. So I can even insert here equals if. Oop, not id, very different. Equals if this equals this, comma one comma. Oh, and it wants to make it a dollar. We don't need that. Okay. And we can do the same thing where where these aren't ones. So is this the same? Non-controlling interest uh, used to say. Nope, that one's fine. It's just blown up. Same here, same here. And this is different because, you know, the 451 and 460, so it's slightly different on the issues uh, because the years are different. Um, if you need that information, you have to go pull it each time. So here you'll see where we'll have to do some cleaning because total current liabilities doesn't quite line up. So advertising cooperative needs to come down. Uh, it looks like income taxes payable needs to go up. Uh, so there's a couple little things in the balance sheet that don't line up. So that's what I mean is we'll I'll line those up and make them work. Uh, and if there's anything that was in here or, or here that isn't in the other, I'll have to decide where they go uh, to give us more consolidated look. But that's the main idea. So that's the first step. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll wire them up next time. So I'll finish cleaning these up, get all the years put together, and then we'll wire them up. Okay? See you next time.